Yeah, back to the on-court stuff. Um, we're kind of reintegrating John back into basketball-related activities uh, by design. We had him take a couple weeks off at the end of the season just to kind of let things get back to a good baseline, let things heal. Um, and so now we're in kind of that gradual ramp-up period where we're getting him back into basketball-related work. So he's going to be going to USA Basketball in the next couple days. He's made some really, really good improvements in terms of how he's moving, his mechanics with his squat, his hinging pattern, his single leg stability, all things that are very, very important and things that translate over into basketball performance. So uh, it was very, very encouraging to see that he's made strides in just a short period of time. I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, I play basketball in the NBA. One day we gon' ball. I just made a call, just like John Wall. I just caught the law, now they get off. The only one, the chosen one, they know we lost. My dog shit came home, break them off. We gon' ball like John Wall one day. Uh, I've been knowing John since we was like little kids, since we both had like cornrows in our heads. So same been, neighborhood. Yeah, same neighborhood for sure. Just getting back to the grind. <laughs> Ronnie Purvis, Ronnie Purvis is, is a beast. He's a monster. He's been a beast since he was in sixth grade. He was basically John Mini Me. Like it was the upbringing of John Wall and Ronnie Purvis. And before they even had their name, we've been like that. I mean, John set the bar high for people in Raleigh, North Carolina, because we didn't get the respect until somebody like John laid his foot down and said, "Listen, it's really some hoopers and it's really some cats out here that can really do their thing out here." And after that. No choice but to look at Raleigh. It's really some poopers that's doing their thing from Raleigh, North Carolina. And I think that's how it all came together. And the reason why I think they out here today because you know what I'm saying, like Raleigh, the hooping, the hoop, people, the people that really hoop is like a family, it's like a little family. It was good for my first day. Uh, got in, competed a little bit, went after it with uh, Jeff and John. You know, so I'm just happy to be out here, man. I'm, I'm blessed. Yeah, it's crazy, man. But you know that that's what it's all about, man. You know, supporting each other from the same city, same state, uh, all that type of stuff, man. Just want to see each other do well, you know, and uh, it, it only make the city, the city look better. Riding in that beam, I'm looking spotted. I went up another M and didn't notice. Boy, I'm loaded. It's your man from the start, you gotta break him off. Put your hands on the ground, you gotta break your fall. Soon as we get the chance, we gon' take him off. And if he ain't from the start, scream. We gon' ball like John Wall one day. Hey, and I can see it in their face. But I'm laughing to the One day we gon' ball. I just made a call, just like John Wall. I just caught the law, now they get off. The only one, the chosen one, they know we lost. My dog shit came home, break them off. We gon' ball like John Wall one day. Hey, and I can see it in their face. Just think about it logically. Look who's on the court. You know, how could you feel like you know you've been given a, a free ticket to you know sit on the front row? You know, at an NBA game costs a lot of money, and they're all here. It's, you know, and you get to be there and, and talk to them and coach them and laugh with them. Uh, that's big time fun. So it's it's pretty easy to enjoy it.
he's gotten better every year. Uh, you know, he came in uh, pretty young, and uh, he's figured out, you know, what's important in the game, you know, what, what you need to do to, to be a professional, and he's been doing that year in and year out. And uh, he did the same thing here. Uh, he's a hard worker. Uh, he wanted to be here. He wanted to play well. And that goes for everybody that's here. I mean, they didn't come here just to sit on the side and go to dinner in Vegas. I mean, we, we went four on four and five on five, and uh, we did a lot of running, and that's what they wanted to do. Uh, you know, we didn't force that issue or anything. They, were, they wanted to be competitive. They wanted to have contact. And so, you know, John and everybody else, you know, just jumped in and, and did it. from the movie Unbreakable. Oh, yeah, yeah. That Samuel L. Jackson in the wheelchair, that's definitely, that's one by far, man. Uncle Drew Uncle. Uncle Drew's Uncle. Uncle Drew Uncle. Uncle, that was the funniest one. And John Winterspoon. Pop. He do look like John Winterspoon, though. I've been told him he look like John Winterspoon. He look like Ike Turner. Ike Turner, John Winterspoon, Uncle Drew Uncle. All that. All that, all that in one. <laughs> Um, truth be told, I'm a big Star Wars fan. Uh, so the comparison between John and Forrest Whitaker's character in the new Solo movie, uh, I had a hard time not laughing with that. That was plays, everyone. <laughs> nah, they always funny though. Most always funny. Craig's dad from Friday, probably one of the better ones. Yeah, that was my favorite one. Uh, I like that one. Too. I mean, because this is my brother, man. It's, it's genuine. You know what I'm saying? To see you know, someone that you know, I played with you know, in college you know, uh, make it to this level and you know, uh, continue to be great, it's, you know, it's unbelievable. You feel like you get more out of a workout when you're with somebody like him? Oh, no question. I mean, he's going to push you. You know, as you can see, you know, every time you know, uh, you know, I'm missing a shot, you know, he's picking me up. So, you know, I love that. I let her go. She go in the bed like turbo. She go bring back that payroll. I ain't really starting these stats. Don't let watch it to the cold. This is the baby that's your high roll. That's your high roll. Deep weight, bang roll, won't fold. Keep it hot, my butt so cold. Feel me a diamond, they hit like water. New Vinci drips, you like gone. Boy, I know you ain't the one. Nah. Boy, I know you just a runner. Huh? Boy, you like worse than my uncle. Huh? He gon' be a cold summer. Huh? I might go bust on the roll. Huh? Touchdown, sign Brady. Huh? I know you was shady. Huh? I know that you are gon' trade on me. Two boy, let the two go. We are in danger. Huh? Too many is on my line. Pay them no, never mind. Don't worry about it. I mean, nah, it's dope to get it from Pop Pop. Yeah, ain't nobody like Pop. Yeah, Pop's dope. Pop's one of the, I think one of the goats, the coaches. Yeah, like every time I go there, like even like last two years ago, I think it was when I went, I was just really focused on defense and trying to set people up because everybody trying to be a scorer at USA. I mean, that's not what it's all about. They got certain guys that you know going to be scorers. These guys that got to be able to play defense, set guys up, and just be able to knock down shots when you get a chance. That's what it's all about to me. That's my goal, have a gold medal. Hey, can I work on what? Can I do shot The internet is undefeated. What do you mean by that? They just always gonna win, no matter what. Whatever they find about you, good or bad, they always gonna find out. I mean, it's, a, it's a social media world that we're in now, especially with camera phones. So that just makes it easier to like kind of take it with a grain of salt. Yeah. 
So that whole picture thing to you, that was just, that was all jokes. That was funny. To me, it was when I, when I had seen everybody talking about it. When did you notice? I had to practice everybody. Like, you see a picture go by, I'm like, nah. And I didn't even know what the picture looked like. So like, when you were sitting next to James when they were doing all the interviews and you were scrolling the phone, is that when you... Nah, I still ain't seen it. I didn't see it until I got, like, got all deal with me. Oh, but okay. they were just talking about it. I didn't see it. I was like, oh, yeah. to the bank uh -huh.